Hey y'all, it's Steven. And today I'm gonna start working on a frame bag. So I've wanted one for a couple of years and for whatever reason, I've just not found the time. But now is as good a time as any. So what I'm gonna do is just get the dimensions of this inner frame. To do that, I'm gonna use three tools. One of them's the only necessary tool and that's a tape measure. So this is the tape measure that I'll be using. This is a caliper. So I'm gonna be using this to measure the widths of all these tubes at the different profile. And then I've got this angle reader. I'll link something like this in the description. Um, I just picked this one up at Home Depot. But when I get my dimensions, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get this angle and this angle just to double check my work. I'm gonna do this all in millimeters because that's how I roll. 45.5, 37. Now with my calipers, I'm gonna make sure it's zeroed in. My top bar here, it tapers, it's, it's wider up here and narrow it down here. So I'm gonna take that in consideration when I am rocking the path. So I'm gonna get the core pattern built out in Illustrator, which essentially means if I were to make a frame bag that fills in the whole space of the frame, I'm gonna build that pattern exactly how I think that I want it. And then I'm gonna make what I call just a silhouette sample. That's it, I just take that core pattern, I sew it up, very rudimentary, it's very basic, and I put it on the bike. And then I'll, I'll ride the bike around with it on, I'll go run some errands, and I'll see exactly what it is that I want to stay the same, and what it is that I want to change. There's no reason in over-designing at this point, because I don't actually know what I want. And that's kind of how it is for all product development is like when you have an idea, figure out what the core feature set is gonna be per your customers, build out a silhouette sample, make sure that, that silhouette sample is dialed first and then start adding all the features that you assume because once that silhouette is done, you know that the core structure of the bag is solid so once you start adding features, you're not gonna have to go back and restructure the core pattern of the bat. So first things first, I'm gonna figure out this nomenclature just to see if there's any. Okay, C tube, top tube, down tube. Well, that's easy enough. And just so you all know, I work in millimeters, not imperial, just how I roll. One thing that I know is that my down tube is 57 cm. Another thing that I know is that my seat tube is 33.5 cm. We're gonna put that at zero degrees. And this angle here is 51.5. And I do 90 minus 51.5. And then I'm going to orient this. Yeah, sure, that's right. I'm gonna orient that there. And then I'm just gonna draw this top tube. And this is 44.6 centimeters. And another thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to check this angle here. You got 36, you got 52. And this is going to be the core of my frame bag. So I'm just going to grab all these, hit Command J or Control J on Windows. That's going to give me my frame. So maybe I'll reverse it so that it lines up with this. The next thing I want to do is just round all these corners because I'm going to do a gusset style. So we'll go 20 millimeters on all of those. So there we have it uh, right now. This is our sidewall and I'm going to save this. All right, now that I have this, I'm going to import 
that AI. So now I have my pattern here at a cooler fabric. Cool. So I've got all my dimensions here. My first thing that I'm going to do is select this whole shape and it'll tell me that the 2D line length is one or 1230.9. So I'm gonna do 1230.9 and the thickest it's gonna be is 55 millimeters. And that is that bottom tube. It's gonna line this up. And then I'm gonna sew this here and sew this here. And then I'm going to symmetric pattern. So now what I want to do is I really want to figure out um, exactly the the widths. I want to change the the width so it fits. So this was 361 was the line length there, 269.6. 44.9, 466.9, and this last one should be 50.3, 50.4, close enough. Okay, so this matches up to that. That will be my vertical bar, and the width there is 33.5. This is my upper bar here, and so you have the front is 42, the back is 33.7. And I'm gonna give it a smooth transition. Yeah, that, that feels way more natural. Taper the whole width there. So now we can carry the most in the base and then it has a nice taper up to the front, a nice taper up to the back and then this back bar. That looks like it intersects there. I use a number eight zipper that is 37 millimeters wide. And there's the basics. There's the core structure. This will be my silhouette sample. And that way I can figure out, do I like the shape? Do I like the structure? And uh, then I can design more once I answer yes to all these, these other questions of the core silhouette sample. So now I have the pattern complete and I pulled it up on my PC and I am going to send it over to my plotter cutter to then have a pattern to use. So here we go. Now I've got my pattern cut out on Manila. The next step is to cut and sew the silhouette sample, fit it on the bike and see how it comes together. Stay tuned for part two, cause that's a wrap. So on my YouTube videos, I just quickly show the overview process of what's happening in Adobe Illustrator, what's happening in Clo 3D. If you want the, the more in-depth, you wanna see uncut, unfiltered content so that you can learn how to do this yourself, you can either join my Patreon or join my YouTube memberships. Hit the, hit the join button. Um, and you will get all that uncut, unedited, watching me go through the full process, explaining exactly how I do it along the way.